I found it. You're not going to believe it. The missing piece. I found it. Those of you who know me know this picture. And you know what I found. You know exactly what I found. For those of you who don't know me, you have no clue as to what I'm talking about. But I'll fill you in. This is Susie, your beautiful swim queen. Welcome back to the garden. So in cleaning my apartment, I found the missing piece. I am painting and cleaning and rearranging and redesigning my story. How does this have to do with manifesting? Because we're all searching for that missing piece. And this puzzle behind me, I have used in my videos as since I started on doing videos. And we were painting the dining room. And I'm going to hang this painting picture up on the wall. It's going to be beautiful. I have 30 orange crates plus. And I only put 21 orange crates back behind me to create a bookshelf wall. Make great bookcases. Absolutely wonderful bookcases. How did I get 30 orange crates? Have absolutely no clue. But I have them. So I took 11 of them and I put them in the hallway and I made an apartment complex for the stuffed animals. For my beautiful four-year-old little one. She absolutely loves it. She thinks it's the greatest thing in the world. But I'm cleaning them out and rearranging them. And I found the piece. Two years it's taken me to find this piece. And I found it. Here's the little puzzle piece that finishes the puzzle. Well, I said, guess what I found? My daughter knows the missing puzzle piece. I called my kitty bum. So guess what I found? The missing puzzle piece. Like, seriously, you don't even give me a chance to go, what? I don't know what you're talking about. Give me a hint. No clue. No, nope. blurted it right out. Like, that's just not fair. And then, little one's in the bedroom. Savannah's sitting on my refrigerator, painting the top of the cabinets. And now we have three missing pieces. So we had to hunt down the two because, you know, four-year-olds take apart puzzles. Mm-hmm. So she started taking apart the puzzle. And I managed to find all four pieces, all three pieces that are now missing. So now I have a complete puzzle. And it's taken two years to finish this puzzle. Hmm. Two years. Well, let me think about this. So I've been manifesting my specific person or $2.7 million in the bank account or a puppy, a new car, a house, my dream job, friends, family, you know, just totally changing my life around. There's no set time, guys. There's absolutely no set time for when it's going to show up. If it takes two years to find a puzzle piece, manifesting isn't always instant. But you got to change your story. For two years, We've talked about the fact that the puzzle's incomplete. We have played up. It's the missing piece in my YouTube videos. And everybody's searching for the missing piece to the puzzle. And that's what we're doing when we're manifesting a specific person, money, adventure, a life. We are looking for a piece to the puzzle. And we're trying to figure out when we get that piece to the puzzle, how it all fits together. Well, actually it fits perfectly. The problem is we spent so much time honing in on we're missing something. We need to do something. How easy was it to find it when I was painting and rearranging? Unbelievably easy. I took some stuff out of the shelving unit that's going into the studio because I don't need paint supplies out here. And it was in the back little corner. And it was a black orange crate. And the back side of this, it's white. So it showed up really well, right in front of my face. It went, pow, I'm right here. When we are trying to manifest our specific person, we go, pow, it's not here. Pow, 
it's not here. It's not here. It's never here. We don't know why it's here, why it's not here. We just know that we lack it. So we have to change our stories, big done, because it shouldn't take two years to finish a puzzle. Definitely not two years to finish a puzzle. And trust me, I know people who are laughing about this because I'm OCD and it's driven me nuts for two years. But as you can see, it is a beautiful puzzle and it comes with a built-in frame. It came with its own glue and little things to hang on the back of it. So when you completed it, you could actually hang it on the wall. It's been thumbtacked to the wall for quite some time now. Now we're gonna give it its nice little display place. So this is my specific person. We're walking across the bridge and I'm standing in the middle of the bridge trying to figure out how to stop the water. We'll move our little character. Stop the rapids from running. You can't. You have to go with the flow. You have to do what naturally comes to you. People are going to tell you, don't reach out. Don't talk to them. Don't do this. Don't do that. Don't text them. Don't call them. Don't say hi if you happen to cross his path when you're in the store. Because, you know, they've had their chances and they, they failed. Well, they're pushed out you. So I shouldn't reach out to the love of my life because everybody tells me not to because the love of my life is a jerk. So that means I need to change my story. My missing piece is the love of my life is a jerk. And if I reach out to him, it's not going to work anyways because it's not going to do a freaking thing. Then there's the people who say, you know, if you pushed out, and they're all reflecting it back so everybody in your life is going to show up as a jerk no not everybody because everybody is you pushed out and the missing piece to manifesting is the story you're telling and the meanings you put to the story you're telling if you're telling the story in your head and somebody's telling you don't reach out fuck him fuck her get over it move on it doesn't work that way. When you love somebody, they're a swan. Swans mate for life. And when you truly, truly love somebody, nothing will ever stop the way you feel. Because you get mad at the loves of your lives. You get mad at your children, your parents, your best friend. Oh my God, my best friend is ignoring me. We're all under quarantine, so blah, blah, blah. And we're going on and on and on and trying to figure out what the missing piece to the puzzle is instead of saying, you know what? It's a beautiful picture and it all came together quickly, easily, and effortlessly. Two years ago, I went on a camping trip that turned into a nightmare. And I said, you know, I'm done with all this drama, I'm not doing it anymore. And I started walking around asking, why am I spoiled? Why am I blessed? Why am I living my dream life? And things have changed so much for me that I am painting my apartment. I'm cleaning out the old crap, all because of one question that's asked from the end of my desire. The end of my desire is a complete story that I'm with my specific person. The end of my desire is I have $2.7 million in my bank account. The end of my desire is I have a puppy. So if I ask the question, why do I have a puppy? Neville would say, how is it I have a puppy? So Neville even asks questions. Isn't it wonderful is a question. Why, how, and isn't it wonderful will help you to stay in the state of a completed puzzle and you won't have to look for the missing piece because it was in the crate like that mm -hmm. we complicate manifesting so much we make it a full-time job we make it a chore we sit here and we think about all of these scenarios so you have a problem I had a problem the other day. Somebody said, how many stories are you writing in your head? And I said, you'd be really proud of me. I only have two. But we should only have one. Our specific person is going to reach out because they love us. 
our specific person is going to show up in the way we need them to because they love us. We're going to have $2.7 million in the bank account because I am rich. We are going to have that dream life, but we're not waiting for it to show up. You have to act as if you have it now. So we displayed the puzzle with the missing piece, used it in our video, and now we're still using this puzzle as a teaching tool. And the teaching tool is to show us how we complicate our lives and yet how simple it is. If you are doing a puzzle, you're not thinking about whether or not it's going to all fit together. You're just figuring out which piece goes where and you're enjoying your time with that puzzle. But if you are literally going, I've got to do the puzzle where we've got to do the border and then we've got to get all the pinks and all the blues and all the whites. Well, the problem is there's blues here, there's blues there, and they don't match. They're different. And we're trying to fit all of them into one piece. Different tools, tips, and techniques teach us how to flow with the water. They teach us that there really is no missing piece. We just got caught up in our story that the piece is somewhere in this apartment and it's missing. What story are you caught up in? Because every one of us has one of these. What story can you change it to? You're missing your keys. I lost the remote the other day. First place I checked was the refrigerator. I have no idea why every time I lose the remote, it's in the refrigerator. Couldn't find the remote. Went to the refrigerator. Wasn't in there this time. But I got up, went to the refrigerator, and I said, you know what? I'm going to find it as I'm walking to the refrigerator. Open the fridge, not in there. Open the freezer, not in there. Walked back into my living room, and it was on the floor underneath the edge of the couch. That simple. But yet it took two years to find that. If our manifestations are taking time, it's because we are telling that story. We're saying, it's going to be here eventually. It's coming. It'll happen. We're just waiting for the minions to deliver. It takes two seconds for somebody to knock on your door. And you go, hello, who is it? It doesn't take long to change our story. My dad was a cop, and people told him stories all the time. And they entertained him. And when you are entertained by the stories you're telling, you're feeding more of the entertainment value. Lucifer, gotta love that man. He says that plagues are caused by God. His job is orgies, drugs money, fun things, bad things, because he taps into our deepest, darkest desires and brings them out. Your desire is to have, do, or be anything in your reality. It's possible, but you got to stop looking for the missing puzzle piece, because when you do, it shows up, and then a four-year-old tries to take the puzzle apart, and I did get glue. So we're going to re-glue it, and then we're going to hang it on the wall in the dining room. So when I open up the door, you're going to see this beautiful vignette that I have created, because this is my new story. I love you guys. Have an absolutely amazing day. Subscribe, smash the like button. As always, share my videos, and tell me why what I'm sharing with you is drastically changing your life for the better.